welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video tomato facial that's what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna cover three steps in taking care of the skin we're gonna exfoliate the skin we're gonna use a facial mask and we're also gonna use a facial toner all three are gonna be made out of the tomato so we're doing a complete tomato facial now this is very special it's very unique if you're looking for clean clear skin if you're looking to just you know be radiant and glowing this video is for you so continue watching This is a, a plump tomato. So I'm gonna cut my tomato in two halves and take a look. Really nice, fresh tomato I have here. And I'm gonna chop the tomato for blending. So I'm just gonna chop the tomato in small pieces. If you have a powerful blender, you do not need to chop. You could go ahead and blend as is. So here is your tomato and just go ahead and blend it like this. No need to add any water. Now take a look at your blended tomato. So I'm just gonna pour this in. Now along with our tomato, I'm gonna be using some brown sugar. I'm also gonna be using some fresh milk. Now making the tomato facial scrub is pretty easy. You're gonna take your half of a tomato. You're gonna use about a tablespoon of brown sugar. And you're simply gonna take your half a tomato, dip it in your brown sugar, completely coat the tomato with the brown sugar, and this is what it's gonna look like once you do that. And you're gonna use this to exfoliate the skin. So I'm gonna show you how to exfoliate your skin using your tomato and brown sugar facial scrub. So here we have our tomato facial scrub. To use this, just dig in, take up as much brown sugar, and then you just exfoliate the skin with it. Personally, I like using this scrub. It's pretty easy and pretty fast and very effective. So just exfoliate with your tomato and brown sugar your entire face. After exfoliating, just rinse off with some water. And that's the result from using the tomato facial scrub. Next, I'm gonna move on to the tomato facial mask. Now to make the tomato facial mask, I'm gonna be using my milk. So I'm using one tablespoon of fresh cold milk. One tablespoon of our tomato puree. We're just gonna put that in there. And we're just gonna blend the two together. So just mix well. Now if you do not have fresh milk, go ahead and use some yogurt. That would be just as good, or even some heavy cream in this. So here we have our tomato facial masks. Now let me show you how to use your tomato facial mask. And I like to use a brush to apply this to the face. So you're just gonna soak it up, make sure to give it a mix. And this is not a thick facial mask. So you're just gonna brush it on your face like I'm showing here. So just brush the mask on. Make sure to apply it over your entire face. Once you apply your facial mask, you're gonna sit with it for at least 
30 minutes. Don't forget to take this down on your neck and the glute area also. So now you're done. Sit with this for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, you're gonna also rinse this off. And guess what? Once you rinse off, you're gonna pat dry and you're ready for your facial toner. Okay guys, so now we're on to our final facial using the tomato and this is a tomato facial toner. Now to make our tomato facial toner, we're gonna use our tomato puree. You have a choice, you can choose to use lavender water or you can choose to use some rose water. Today I'm gonna be using the rose water and the bonus is we're gonna tip a little bit of a vitamin E oil in our tomato facial toner. So to begin, here I have a, a tablespoon of our tomato juice. Now to my tomato juice, I'm gonna be adding some distilled water. So I'm adding about three tablespoons of distilled water. So that three tablespoon distilled water, if you don't have distilled water, just make sure to boil your water before you use. Once you do that, you're gonna give it a stir. If it's too thick, you can choose to add a little bit more of water, like mine is a little thick, so I'm gonna add another tablespoon of distilled water. Next, I'm reaching for my rose water. And I'm using two tablespoons of rose water. If you're using, if you're using lavender water, use two tablespoons. Next, reaching for my vitamin E oil. Now, if you do not have vitamin E oil, go ahead, add a little almond oil, a little avocado oil, just add a little oil that you have, okay? And I'm gonna use about three to four drops of vitamin E, mine is 28,000 IU. If you have less IU, just use your discretion. Now once that is done, I'm just gonna mix and mix well. And now your tomato facial toner is ready. Now this is ready and I suggest we have water in this so store this in your refrigerator for about seven days. Pour this in a spray bottle. If you don't have a spray bottle just pour it in a jar and keep it in your refrigerator. So now I'm going to show you how to use your wonderful facial toner. Now here is the tomato facial toner. If you have this in a spray bottle, that's good. Just spread it on your face and let it hair dry. Do not rinse off. If not, use a cotton pod like I'm showing here. Soak it up, squeeze the excess, and then use it on your face. Just wipe your entire face with this facial toner. And take a look at my skin after doing this wonderful tomato facial so just wipe your face with it and just let it here dry it's gonna dry on the skin it's not gonna be sticky and once it is dry then you move on to using your favorite moisturizer or your favorite facial serum okay so okay guys so this complete our wonderful tomato facial at home we have our tomato brown sugar scrub we have our tomato milk facial mask and we have our tomato rose water facial toner so i hope you like this quick and easy idea of using the tomato for a full facial at home okay now you can choose to use this for a complete facial at least once per week you can choose to use the entire thing however you can choose to use let's say your facial scrub two to three times per week you can use your facial mask at least two to three times per week also however for your facial toner you can choose to use this every day okay
so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and your comments are always welcome so comment 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 and also share the video go ahead try the recipe and come back and leave your comments guess what look below if you have not yet subscribed there's the word subscribe in red click on it and you will be subscribed thank you all and i'll see you in my next video bye bye